Hello! Welcome to my channel! When you're sewing, you are always on the hunt for the fabric for your next big project. So, I was shopping for bed linen the last day and I found a perfect set of duvet cover and pillowcase. The deep red lyosil fabric. So nice! And of course, I picked two sets. One for my bed and one for a dress. I probably should iron this before I go. <laughs> but my plan for this is a nice long maxi dress with a tiered skirt and loose flutter sleeves. I call these flutter sleeves, I don't know if this is if this is the correct term. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. So let's get the pattern. So go to my website, that's dressdeveloper.de and click on pattern kits. There we have a bodice and skirt dress. And I will use this pattern kit to create the base of my maxi dress. So I select a bell skirt. The skirt will be the first tier of the dress. And I will have three tiers in total. The full length should be around one meter, so with three tiers I go with 99 centimeters and 33 centimeters for each tier. So I set the skirt length to 33 centimeters and I don't need a hem in this case. Sleeve, okay, butterfly sleeve. I went with butterfly sleeve for the pattern. I'm still interested in how you would name these. Is butterfly sleeve the best name or do you call it a flutter sleeve? Let me know in the comments. Neckline finish. You know what? I think I go with a cowl neck for this dress. The skirt is pretty massive and I think a cowl neck will help to balance this all out. Closure, zipper in side seam is fine. Pockets, yes please. Then I select a size. You can also upload your very own measure set with your own measurements. Then seam allowance, paper format is fine as it is. Then I can create a pattern. Here is a file with a preview, a little cover, all the settings we just made. And here is a preview for the printing layout, so you know how to assemble this, the pattern, which is here. All ready for printing. I cut the bodice pieces from the pillowcase and the rest from the duvet cover. After I cut the skirt pieces, I cut the rest of the duvet cover into long strips for the gathered tears. Each strip is 36 cm wide, that's 33 cm plus 3 cm for seam allowance. Before I begin sewing, I interface the back neck facing with some fusible interfacing. Then I begin assembling the base dress by sewing the darts in the bodice pieces. Note that there is no bust dart in this pattern because the bust dart fullness is moved into the cowl neck. Then I search the shoulders and the cowl neck. You can use a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger. I like to completely finish my pockets before I set them in. I search around the edges and then I stitch two pocket pieces together, leaving the seam allowance at the beginning and the end open. Then I sew the facing to the back neck opening. Then I cut the seam allowance back, 
Snip the curve. And understitch the facing. It means that I sew the facing to the seam allowance and it helps to keep the facing nicely rolled under. Then I join the shoulder seams. When I reach the point where the back facing begins, I bury the needle, pivot the whole thing and then sew it. I sew the back facing down with a couple of hand stitches, catching only a single thread of the outer fabric. Then I set in the sleeves. I join up all the notches and divide the fabric in between evenly. Remember that you need to join the sewing lines, not the seam allowance. I sew the sleeves in with a sewing machine and then later finish this edge with a serger. As you see, I keep repositioning the sleeve and stroke every little gap of flat. Remember, don't stretch anything. When I search these edges, I also cut the seam allowance back. You can do this in two steps if you don't have a serger, just cut the edge and then use a zigzag stitch to finish it. Now I sew the skirt pieces to the front and back bodice piece at the waist. Now I finish the sides with a serger. I finish them. I don't sew them together yet. Now I sew the side seam. I have marked where the side zipper and the pockets will sit. Over the side zipper I switch to a long basting stitch. Don't forget to switch back to your regular stitch length. And then the opening for the pockets is left simply open. The zipper gets placed over the basting stitches and basted in place. I'm using a machine here, but you can also do this by hand. Note that I keep pulling at the seam allowance to make sure everything stays nice and centered. With the zipper in place, all the basting stitches needs to come out again. Now I open the zipper and sew it again. 
I'm using my invisible zipper foot and sewing right along the edge of a teeth. This pressure foot is very helpful for the step, but you can use a regular zipper foot if you don't have any and just try to sew as close to the teeth as you possibly can. Unfortunately, you cannot sew all the way down with an invisible zipper, so there will always be a little gap which you need to close with some hand stitching later. The pockets are installed with a similar technique. I simply place them over their opening and then I sew the seam allowance of a pocket to the seam allowance of a dress. To finish the sleeve hem I have cut some bias tape and I'm sewing it all around here. Here is a neat little trick to close bias tape in the round. I have left a tail of bias tape in the beginning and at the end. When I'm done sewing, I backstitch, cut the thread and then I fold the sleeve out of the way and the bias tape gets folded right angles together and stitched diagonally. And there you have a nice bias tape join. The bias tape is then pressed to the inside and stitched in place. Now I have an almost finished, very short dress. Time to add the gathered tears. To gather these down, I sew a length of crocheting thread with a zigzag stitch to the edge of the fabric. I'm sewing one of the fabric strips to the skirt, pulling on the thread to gather it down. Then I join the left two strips of fabric to one very long piece and repeat the step, this time sewing the long strip to the not so long strip. I can tell you, gathering these pieces down took so long. I mean, the last tier was 5.6 meters long. 5.6 meters! Of course I need to search these edges on the skirts and then I need to add a hem, a 5.6 meters long hem on the bottom tier. And then I am finally done. So, final thoughts. I admit I have mixed feelings about this dress. I love the fabric, I like the sleeves, I like the neckline. I'm not so sure about the skirt though. I did not gather the top tier because I didn't want to add bulk to my waist and my hips. But now I think the skirt looks a bit unbalanced. I have seen examples of skirts like this with the top tier fitted and not gathered. I'm not sure about this. What do you think? Does it work or should I try with a gathered top tier next time? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching.